There's always that sort of low mumble of people talking about the work. When I walk past classrooms, I'm always hearing like pencil scratching. It's not a very nice noise, but it's sort of comforting. I hear joy, happiness and laughter. <laughs> Children playing and screaming and shouting and talking. Bells ringing. Whistles blowing. We first made friends. Yeah. We first saw outside. Yeah. We might have been felt sad because we wanted to go home because we've never been here. Yeah. We were frightened of everyone because we didn't know anyone. It was really big to me because I was only very little and it was like, um, it was magical. As soon as I met my teacher, she seemed very heartwarming and friendly. Some people just wanted to sit next to me and because I was new and like, they just like helped me like get books and things and showed me where everything was. I put on my puppy dog eyes so my dad wouldn't leave me and I was like, where's my daddy? <laughs> Um, I love my mum and I love my brother and I love my dad. I love this school because we've got the massive field. If you're feeling lonely, then someone just comes up to you and asks if you want to play with them. All of them are nice and kind. My favourite will probably be fish and chips. Fish are pulled out from birds and, not, and they even like birds too. And it's a really good place to be actually. do not matter with that, it is. I am happy and um, quite Fun. I'm sporty, I'm funny, and I'm cheeky. I'm sometimes quite stubborn and mean, but when I really feel like it, I can be really kind and gentle. Scared a lot of times. Tests don't scare me. I, I do them. And I know I've probably done my best, so that's as good as I can go. So they don't scare me. I like a good laugh. How do you make a sausage roll? Push it down the <laughs> And a double three. Six. And I know, and I know double six. Five, ten. I feel like happy, like moving up into year three. When I moved up, I found it exciting because I thought all the new things I could learn and what history lessons there might be and if I met some new friends and going on to the bigger sort of playground, it was all very exciting for me. I had butterflies in my tummy because I was scared that everybody was going to be really mean to me and like when I was lining up, everybody was like running around and I didn't really know where to go. But then we found it out and then my butterflies just like flew away. <laughs> <laughs> kind of worrying, kind of exciting as well though. Worrying because the work will get more challenging and harder. It's exciting because I'll be I'll be older and maybe more ready for it. 
when you like in reception, you don't exactly understand these things. You hardly understand. Like you anything. just like you come inside. It's you think this is how life works. There are, te- there are people who teach you things, and you go home, you have fun, and you come back, and they teach you more things. Mm. But then in year six, they act more like friends instead of teachers. They want to like make your your life better when, as you grow up. I went down to reception a few days ago and it looked absolutely tiny. So I'm just remembering like how small I was and I'm still pretty small now compared to these lot. I was a real idiot, <laughs> seriously. But now I'm doing like algebra and level six tests and it's really confusing, but I can't even imagine doing those in reception. I probably didn't even know what six was. They all looked so much bigger than us, like 10 times our age. Like they all looked like 25. But now I actually, I really don't feel as big as them. But it's weird to think that maybe some of the receptions look up to us like with like, it's a bit, it's a bit strange. I wonder what Bricknell will be like once we're all adults and there are probably going to be loads of new teachers and new pupils. What's in Earth? What's around Earth? What's on Earth? I wonder if the universe is actually expanding or just our view of it is. I think it's just our view of it. I hope that I do well in tests. I hope I hope I pass. I hope Britain will keep kind of raising money for charity and different things like that. I've been hoping that I can actually do a successful Lego animation. I hope I can I become a prof- a professional basketball player. Joy. Joy for that I've had fun at Britain and that I got friends and I got a nice family and I got a nice life. I feel sadness because Britain is such a nice place. Because I don't want to leave it. I'm really proud to say that. When I sort of leave school and go off in life, Bricknell started me off.